All right, fellers. I found I came across this TikTok here on my for you page because it's just dunking on women, baby. And then there was a full video, so we'll watch that as well. But let's start with this one. Um, okay. One was one thing you wish all men understood that we're equal. Yeah. In what ways? In oh. all. In <laughs> all ways. Oh, do you oh. think? Do you think you and I are have the same strength? So like this is what your typical obnoxious like dunk like like lol female dunk. When people talk about equality, they're talking about equality of opportunity. That's simply it. The equality to exist in a way that's free and you're treated equally. Okay, we all have different things that make us different, right? And there are things that men have that women don't. And there are things that women have that men don't. It's that simple. It's not. The, but like, of course, we're setting up for a dunk. Do you think that women are stronger than men? And of course, these women aren't thinking like super like deep about these issues because who does? It's such a simple concept to just to just treat people equally. That's it. That's all it comes out to. And then we've we've made it. We've made sure that we've overthought it to such a degree, um, so that we could dunk on people when we walk around on the street. That we're as strong as each other. Um, uh, I think so. This is one of everyone has. this is a topic I get really into because. I am very much the person who sees like strength, you know, you might have more strength in one aspect, whether sure. it's emotionally or physically than I do in another, but that, but I can push a baby out of my vagina. You can. Yeah. The concept is that like you, we have different levels of different types of strengths, but that, but they should be considered equal. So masculinity has strengths and so does femininity. So you can't grow one. You True. can ejaculate True. all the freaking time and impregnate all the women in the world, but they're not controlling you. They're controlling me. What? Why? When I can only make a baby. And of course, we come. When, there's also another aspect of it is that you go around when you do on the street content for like five hours, and then you make a 15 minute video out of it. And like, what do you think they're showing you? Everything that makes them look good and bad, or just the stuff that makes like the the creator of the video look good, plus pushes whatever narrative they want to push. Baby in nine months, you, I make one. If I actually make one, if I make it through both me and right. my baby, right. you can impregnate multiple women multiple times True. a day. And yet, okay. I'm the one that's told that I need to have birth control. I could have 10 bit. I could have. When there's a 15, a 15 minute, a 15 minute procedure, snip, snap, snip, snap, walking out, maybe a little waddle, and that's. Well, sure, but vasectomies actually take a few months to um, go into effect. I understand what she's talking about. Men should get a birth control. They don't really have like readily available birth control for men. That is realistic. I think getting your getting a vasectomy is an unrealistic birth control method. Um, you know, unless you're really looking to commit to not having kids because it's a pretty intense procedure. Whereas a lot of women want birth control because it regulates more than just like it regulates their period, which is good for not just not having babies, but also good for like keeping your cycle normal. But okay. See. So I could have 10 babies in a year and you can only have no, one. No, 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 10 babies? You could have significant, you had 10 babies in one day. You could have 10 babies in one day. 10 I different women, done. Okay. It I haven't seen a live stream in a while. I love you, Papa Gut. Love From you too. a straight alpha male, flushed face, Very nice. heart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if we're unequal in any way, how are we actually equal? No, no, we're unequal in the fact of the way that society has placed us. Okay. That's like asking our white and black people. Yeah, it's like it takes about two months for a vasectomy to become effective. People equal. But but they're not, though. Society, we're not. Well, they're not, but they should be. So I don't really understand what your point is there. Let's watch it. It's called Why Here's What All Men Should Understand About Women. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here, fellas. What's one thing you wish every man understood about women? Understood about women? Mm. That we're not just a piece of ass. We're just people. Yeah. Honestly, we're just people and you can talk to us the same way you can talk to a man. And communication is really key. Saying what you feel and saying, asking your questions and just asking us for clarification. Yeah. That's really been my success. Hey, don't give them forehead kisses if you don't want to be with them. True. <laughs> don't give them forehead kisses if you don't want She's obviously on her cope. But it is true. It is a popular... Uh, fuckboy tactic to make women think that like you might be interested in them to like date them you know this is the game you're like ah oh, yeah i'm not looking for anything too serious but you know i might be open to something and then you know you kind of treat the girl like a little bit of a girlfriend when you're hanging out and then you just completely like barely talk to them outside of that um pretty common tactic it can be very effective <laughs>
<laughs> That's fucked up. Don't do that. Emotions and vulnerability, those are weaknesses. Um, in fact, I think that that should be the foundation of every sort of relationship, whether it be a friendship, a familial relationship, or a romantic one. Um, uh, sure, depending on how far you go. There's nothing wrong with showing emotion in a positive way. Uh, vulnerability, I think, should be reserved for people that are in like a more tight knit circle, which isn't going to be every girl that you're hooking up with. Um, at the end of the day, people claim that women are super emotional, whatever. That's because we're actually being honest with ourselves, and I think that it's important for men to do the same thing. I don't know. I feel like sure, men and women just have different emotion. Like, we just generally express emotion differently. I just wish um, they understood that we want something. Yeah, like we're loyalty not, and honesty. Yes, completely. Like, men are not loyal or honest. They need to understand yeah. this. That's what Sometimes. women want. So if a guy wants to hook up with you on the first date, he should let you know, hey, I just want to hook up with you. Yeah. Yeah, sure, like yeah, if I somebody agree. says, I just want to hook up with you for a little bit, I would be like, okay. Yeah. But yeah, sure. maybe I don't want that. I'd rather know. Yeah. Like don't leave me on. About it. Don't like hook up with me for a few months and then just ditch be like, me. Ah, yeah. Sure, that's fair. Like being completely uh, like open about what their expectations are. Although for some women... You know, women women are very uh, incredible and unique in the way that they think that they can solve everybody. They can fix every guy they come across. So if a woman falls in love with a guy, they think that they can fix them. And they're like, I know he'll just want to be with me. I just have to fix him. And they'll try their best. And they'll fail. And it's funny. Well, my wife succeeded. But, you know, that, that's, and that goes to show, guys. You can do it. Okay? Give that, give that guy that treats you like shit. Okay? And doesn't talk to you unless you're having sex. Only contacts you late at night. Give him a chance. Because maybe he'll fall in love with you. They get too sensitive about certain things, and uh, I need I need more support in a way. Like men have to like be there for their girlfriends and learn to understand them. And whenever things go bad, like they need to be there. I feel like men are too. Well, men and women need to do that for each other. I feel like men just like they don't think enough. They don't. So you that part might be true. Men tend to be very direct, and like women are okay. So I would generally say like men are very direct. And women tend to be very, um, probably more more emotionally intelligent. And so men, like if, if women aren't direct with men, like, you know, because there's the thing, they'll, they'll, a lot of women will almost speak in riddles, right? They'll, they'll say something uh, without like necessarily saying it. And it can be a little difficult for men to pick up on that. Um, and that leads to communication issues and communication errors across the board, for sure. And that's why women need, men should try to learn to be a little more emotionally intelligent, kind of read between the lines. But women also need to learn to be more direct with men, right? It goes both ways. You said you feel like men are too sensitive about certain things. Yeah. Like what things? Mm, jealousy. I feel like they do get jealous in a way. I mean, men and women get jealous. And jealousy is like usually the kind of a, a good thing, no? Like it shows like a level of jealousy that's proportionate to the time you've been in a relationship with somebody. Obviously, you don't want to be jealous of somebody that you don't know. But like, yes, I'm jealous of my wife. My wife's jealous of me. Like if other people give us attention, like, oh, yeah, that's not a bad thing. It can become toxic. But like generally, it just shows that you want that person to be exclusive to you. And it's usually an endearing quality. I feel like they have to let their girlfriends be themselves. You have to be yourself. Girls have to be themselves as a person, but they have to trust them enough to be themselves. They have yeah. to be able to go out, do their things, be with their girlfriends without them getting in the way. I think. Uh, sure. Right. But also, if you're the kind, I mean, like. Not for nothing, but if you're going out a lot, like a, a bunch of the time, and it makes your per, the person you're with uncomfortable, like, uh, I mean, what are you doing when you go out? I've never had a word about my wife going out with friends, unless you're going to the clubs and bars all the time. And I think it's reasonable for a guy to be like, mm, I don't really feel comfortable with you going to a club and a bar all the time with your friends, like every weekend, because you know that's where we met, for instance. Uh, if that's where you met, like, yeah, obviously it's going to be a source, but like, why are you still going there? Um, I don't know. Maybe tag along with them. Be like, come with us then. You know, I think that's a reasonable. Um, compromise, but they tend to look at physical appearance, but they need to look at like what's inside. Okay, men and women both look at physical appearance and knock it off of the bullshit. Fundamentally, women tend to be valued more for their appearance in society, for sure. But like, let's let, 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 you know, let's not be unrealistic here. Yeah, our feelings and emotions. That's, That's all. Really and like the way that we think. I mean, like I don't know. I feel like guys always like read too much into things. The opposite. They always think that we're like out to get them. I don't know. But don't women use men for attention? Don't what? Don't women use men for attention? No. Some women do. Some men will use women for attention. I just like why? Why? Okay. No. Guys love girls. Guys are guys are always the ones that are like, oh my god, oh my god, like I need you, I need you. Communication. Just. Maybe they're playing the simp card to try to get them to be like fall in love with them. To be honest, that's literally it. Men just need to understand that women are highly emotional people. We're just built that way. 
but it isn't it isn't necessarily irrational it definitely comes from a place of like honesty and just like wanting to be loved and just like that's fair honestly we kind of do need constant reassurance that um huh. you love us and that you like us and that you want to be around us that's fair I, I think that that's probably the most honest like description like yeah I, a lot of people say that like just because somebody's emotional means that they're irrational not necessarily in the context of a human being we're a mixture of like uh rationale and like emotions so it's actually irrational to remove the emotions from the equation that's a pretty reasonable thing to say but men also can be emotional it usually just expresses itself in anger and there's also like a societal comfort like allowing women to express their emotions better so so sometimes when guys don't understand that um because they're very much like I told you I love you, like, you know, what else? But I think you just need that constant reassurance. Yeah, I think that's about true. it. Don't expect us to- My wife does need constant reassurance. It's funny, well, it's not funny, but <laughs> it gets annoying sometimes. But like, you know, if you love somebody, you're like, okay, take a deep breath and you understand from their perspective. You know what I mean? Because my wife asked me like, do you love me? Do you really love me? You know, I was like, obviously I fucking love you. You know, like, uh, uh, but you know, I'll be like, yes, baby, I love you. You know what I mean? You just kind of have to do that. You gotta try not to get like a resentful of questions like that because it's like silly you know it's just a little reassurance that somebody needs i look like supermodels okay, maybe that. Yeah. i would say that you yeah, know all men one. know they want like a supermodel but when the cards are down if a girl's yeah. into them they'll pick the girl that's into them yeah. i don't know if all i mean maybe all i personally don't like find i guess conventional beauty very attractive i mean i'm also fat so you know obviously i like fat girls but i don't know i'm not really big into like the supermodel thing but that's one thing I notice of uh, really anybody that's like a kind of a is never, like kind of a virgin. I don't know. For young men, I feel like young men who've never really interacted with a woman <clears throat> before, they have really high expectations of like how a woman should look in a really unrealistic way, and that's why they're not able to get any fucking pussy because they're trying to go higher. But then some women can get their egos boosted a little too much because it's very easy for them to get sex. So like you know, if you're like you know, the, not to use the rating system, because I'm not a big fan, but let's say you're like a five out of ten. But like seven out of ten guys are going to be hitting on you because it's easier to fuck girls who are uglier than you when you're in like the, the, when you're just trying to look for sex. Then those unattractive girls start to think who the fuck they are, you know, and they get like an inflated ego sometimes. It does happen. It's true. We just want security, and you not to lie and cheat. That's it. Who's your favorite artist? Oh, male. What's his name with a K? Khalid. Khalid. Is that his name? Yeah, I like him. Would you date Khalid? Oh, absolutely. One hundred percent. He's too young for me, but I absolutely would date him. So if you. Who's Khalid? What was that? Khalid were dating. Do you expect them to be faithful to you? Uh, yes, sure. from day one. Why do you have that expectation? Because is this respectful to have that expectation? Because that's the bare minimum. Okay. You don't get a gold star for being faithful. That's the bare fucking minimum. And sure. it should be that way because across the board. Okay. Women cheat too. Don't get me wrong. Women cheat too. Bare fucking minimum. You should be faithful though. We don't need a lot. There's nothing wrong with that. Men and women should be faithful to each other. But we just want you to show that you're interested in being around us. And if like. And if your relationship is like an open or something, just be honest about it. Like that's pretty much really what it comes down to. And giving us quality time hard. and attention, like the little things. It's it doesn't take a lot to it's keep someone happy. Hard. What are some of the mind games women play with men? Oh, I can be condescending to shit sometimes. I was just this morning. Jesus. Um, ways. <laughs> I the it's fine card. I mean, it's true. Like guys, I play the it's fine card a lot when it's not actually fine. Like that's not mind. But if you're a guy and the girl says it's fine, just say okay. And just move on because a lot of times girls are looking for you to like uh pry into their emotions like it's fine you're like okay and then just leave it at that and they'll get really pissed that's the mind game that you play back because they're looking for you to badger the fuck out of them and be like what's wrong babe like i don't fucking like i don't play that fucking game you know it's just it's childish so there's a little bit of um there's a little bit of uh, advice to you guys. But they're stupid. So guys, guys and girls can both play games, and like it could be wrong and it could be okay depending on the circumstance. Like, <laughs> but again, what are some of the mind games that women play with men? So I, uh, for example, this morning, this guy that I've been talking to for a while. And then I said before, like the mind game that men play with women. <laughs> Where? What was I saying before? Fuck. Uh, where they'll be like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm like looking for something. Like, yeah, I'm open. I'm not really. I'm looking to stay casual, but like, I could be in a. But like, you know, I'm open to a relationship. That's usually the mind, the fuck boy mind game that men play with women. Um, it is true. It is true. While he, um, I was convinced that he thinks that he's texting and Snapchatting two different girls, but it's me. And so he would like not text me back, but Snapchat me, trying to have a full-on conversation. I graduate in a month. I'm not trying to have a conversation on Snapchat. So I was rude as fuck to him back, and he goes, "Why?" And so I, I left one open for a while. It's not really a mind game at that point, is it? That's really just like exposing that guy in some capacity. But okay. I told it like, and then he was like, texted me. I was like, you never texted me back. 
Um, I purposely don't save their numbers so that they have to tell me who they are every time they text me just so I take their ego down a notch. So you ask, I, I just doubt that one. This woman's just like coping. That's bullshit. She probably knows ex if she doesn't save the numbers, she remembers the numbers like exactly. Um, she did, unless she constantly says, who is this? Who's this? LOL. Like you have a, you have an extended conversation on the phone. You could always look back and see the last couple things that you said and you'll be able to identify who it is. So that woman's out of her phone. It's just a liar. That's my toxic trait. I don't save their numbers. So then I'm like, I'm sorry, who is this? And then it just like knocks them down a notch. So I'm like, I'm sorry, you're not worth my time of saving the number for. So then like whenever they approach me, they have to come at it from like a, like not an inferior standpoint. Wow. You sound like a real loser that probably struggles to uh create any meaningful relationships if that actually is true so god bless you for uh, like actually like, <laughs> it's a it, god bless you for just being a giant red flag uh that karma will come back to you if you're doing like dumb shit like that just trying to put people down like that so you stupid fucking asshole i, I mean it's work and everything I problem with all these fucking he's talking to all these party girls at schools is like a lot of them are just like putting on a fucking like the same thing as the guys there they're putting on like this fucking facade I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking awesome. I, I fucking hate men or women, you know, depending on who they're talking about. They can play hard to get, I think, sometimes, because they know uh, they can do that. Because guys, yeah. they go pack, baby. Yeah. They, lie. they say they're looking for something serious. They're not. They lie about their body count, too. Don't listen to these ladies. They out here lying. So why do women lie about their body count? We don't lie. Because people judge women a lot in today's society. It's true. Women uh, are judged more for their body count. But as a guy, like, you should lie about your body count. Well, okay, sorry. You shouldn't lie about your body count, but I would lie about my body count, too. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I fucked around a lot. So sometimes I'm like, yeah, you know, I've only been, I've been like, uh, five or six girls, you know? Because I don't want the girls to think I'm disgusting, even though I am, you know? <laughs> so, you know, you keep that in mind. How can you tell if a woman is lying or being honest about her body count? I feel like it shouldn't matter either way. If you yeah, like somebody, then why not? I really don't think it matters. Like, I mean, like, obviously, if you have a high body count, it's, you're going to, you know, be a little less open to commitment, I guess. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The only time I really cared about body count was when I was, like, really bad in bed and I was self-conscious about fucking girls and shit. So I don't think it really matters that much. Do you care about a guy's body count? No. I'd rather not know, honestly. I don't ask. The reason you'd prefer to not know is because... Because then you start thinking about things in your mind and coming out about how much like a man whore they are. Random. So it's safe to say that body count does matter, right? Uh, it it don't matter. Matter. Sure, it does matter, but like it shouldn't matter. I think that's the overall message they're trying to promote. Yes, don't tell. Yeah. There you go. I'm just saying, you say you'd prefer not to know because if you find out, you start to think. Sure. Yeah. But obviously, you wouldn't think about it if it didn't matter. Yeah. Sure. So it's safe to say that it does matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, wow. We've. Added one plus one. What are some of the ways women play mind games with men? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep it a band, bro. All right, say a band. Red I'm receipts. Gonna say a band real quick. I'm going to say a Red band. receipts, bro. Red, Red receipts. receipts. All right. That play a big role in my, in my, in my, in my. Oh, people leaving me to read receipts on. Yeah, men and women do that to each other. Okay. My message. Red receipts. If you don't turn your red receipts on, bro, I know you will. Yeah, mine are off, of course, because that's like a childish game to play. I also don't want people to know when I read their stuff. I know you would eat them. Ain't even about Look, if a girl, okay, look, obviously a girl is going to act crazy up here if they like you, but if they're over here just shaming you and like being so sus about you cheating, you doing all this stuff, you're like, oh, no, I'm not doing that shit. Bro, 100% of the time, not even 100, but like half of the time, bro, your bitch is cheating on you and she's sussing over you again with the girls and you know you're not doing that. And okay, I think what he's trying to say is when a girl overly harasses him about cheating, it's actually a projection and she's cheating. Maybe, or maybe you are cheating. I don't know. She knows you're not about to action. So like, it's a cold world, bro, but just know who you're fucking with, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're your own man, bro. You're your own person. Nobody can control what the fuck you want. You gotta have that mindset to know, okay, okay. this is good for me. Oh, this is bad for me. My biggest thing is like the leave on red or leave yes. on delivered as long as they left me on red and delivered. Like the push and pull, like they push you away a if little bit. If they leave me on delivered yep. for two hours, I leave them on delivered for three. Me too. So why can't women just yeah um yeah that's just like a childish game to play you know that's the thing and if you're into that game be my guess but like for me i find that to be childish so like i would never do that like i would just respond when i could and if a woman was like doing playing like if it, if if you feel like it's kind of obvious that they're playing that game i just would stop talking to them because it's just fucking pathetic like, i don't have time for this shit. i'm a grown fucking man be honest and text them back when they want to or men vice versa yeah well they should i only do it if someone does it to me me too <laughs> 
If someone's responding instantly to me, I'll respond instantly to them. Yeah, exactly. Do you feel like you're coming off as too clingy or needy, or is it something else? Yeah. No, I don't think it matters at all. I think that like that's a, a, over, something like silly to overthink, you know? Yes. 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 <laughs> Completely like too needy if we respond right away when we've been on delivered for eight, ten hours. I agree. But I just happen to be on my phone and I see the notification, of course I'm going to respond. Yeah, really like, I just like act like I like a guy and then like get him like flirt with me back and then I'm just like, okay, you're a little weird, deuces. So. Okay, well, that is how dating works. You talk to somebody that you're initially interested in, and then it gets, and then once you, if you don't like them anymore, you stop talking to them. Why do women use men for attention? I mean, what is that? Okay, I don't use like men for attention, but like I can see some girls using men for attention because it's like sure. kind of nice for a guy to like you, I guess. I don't know. I'm like, I'm not like that. Like, but you just said that you kind of flirt with a guy and then tell him, oh, you're too weird. And it's not what she said. What she said is she f shows interest in a guy. And then he shows interest back. And then if he's weird, she stops talking to him. You literally didn't even listen to what she said. And you interpreted it in a way because you're looking to, to push the narrative that women just use men for attention. Like you're you're playing. You're you're a victim. You're literally a victim. And you ghost him. Oh, I'm not like that. But most of my friends are like, I have a boyfriend. He's like chilling right there. OK. Do you not, I'm if, she's a, if she has a boyfriend and she's and she's doing this, then that's obviously fucking weird. But it's the, <laughs> so definitely not like that. But most of my friends are. But it sounded more like she was saying uh, the outside of the context of having a boyfriend. But if she's flirting with guys just to show just for that, then yeah, yeah, she is actually doing that. And I was wrong. You know, um, I think I think a big thing is a uh, is a uh, manipulation with attention for sure. Um, a lot of the times, you know, you got kind of see girls that are leading guys on, obviously, um, with no end, end goal or end game. Um, Maybe. And I think that's kind of fucked up. It's pretty fucked up because you know guys have emotions too, and uh, you know guys yeah. obviously True. have feelings, True. stuff like that. So it, it just sucks, Based. you know, to see uh, a lot of times guys getting played by girls, and it's not a big deal. But Damn, I guess I just never experienced that. I guess I'm just too fucking fabulous for that. But uh, if it was the other way around, you know, it would be a pretty, pretty big and uh big deal so i think it's a lot of times a double standard in a way which just sucks to see yes. but that's just the way society is and uh i just feel like if everyone was just honest with each other and uh clear with their end everyone would be happy I feel like yeah i agree with that fair enough like one mind game a woman might play is like the maybe i did have a woman who like would just use me for attention i think there was this one girl she was kind of ugly and like i would i would hang out with her and her friend and like i was interested in her but she wasn't interested in me um she and like yeah maybe i did maybe maybe she did use me for attention i just didn't internalize it i'm trying to think about it now like in my early dating phase when i was kind of a fucking beta um i guess i just don't like internalize it and i don't like just generalize all women as like attention seekers because i'm not a victim i don't have a fucking victim complex but i guess women can do that sometimes uh for like free food and shit like maybe or just say if you see that pattern happening set better boundaries response time like i know i feel like that's something that's often spoken about like if a man takes bro fucking young people these days are pathetic like holy fuck these i mean they, they, these games were played too when i was like in the dating field but these games are fucking pathetic no wonder you guys are having sick like, fucking communication issues playing like the the two-hour telephone game 20 minutes to respond you like should take longer or shorter or yeah. whatever like bro, this and i just think difficult. that that is I don't want to say like ridiculous, but I think people read too much into that personally because I'm just going to be me. I don't know. For me, like, if I respond right away and you don't like that, like, we're just going to, you know, cross fade for speed. Yeah. I think pettiness for women is a lot more of a thing than it is for men. Like, pettiness Maybe. for a woman is like, you're going to text me in 15 minutes, I'll text you in 30, or I'll text you tomorrow. And like, however long a guy takes, like, it's kind of like the test that you put in. Like, that is kind of for men like a mind game, but for women it's not really that mindset. They say, yo, it's 2 a.m. You can't pull up, even though like she's been texting me all night trying to fuck. Like you still can't pull up. Like what the hell is she doing? I'm still pulling up. I don't care. Like I'm still pulling, still pulling up. This isn't really a manipulation. This is like sexual withholding, which is a good thing for women to do to an extent. If you're just looking for sex, that's fine. But if you're looking to be in a relationship, like you shouldn't be having sex with a guy on like the first date or making it that easy because he will lose respect for you. So I'm, I'm, still pulling up. I'm still pulling up, even though she said I can't. Like, I'm I'm be wow, dude, I love it when guys try to rape girls just because it's just because they think that they want it. That's my favorite thing. Yeah, she told me not to, so I decided to because I'm gonna rape her on the off chance that she might really like it, guys. Oh, holy fuck, this is awesome. I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna forcefully show up at this place because she said she didn't want me to. Because I know what she really wants. That's a really good mentality to have as a young man. It's a really good idea to disregard what people are saying. Because even if they they actually do want you to show up, all right. First of all, you shouldn't be playing into that fucking game where they're like, "Oh, don't show up." <laughs> and second of all, yeah, you shouldn't be fucking raping women on the off chance that they like it. It's bizarre. Be honest, anything a woman says to you, you really can't trust. Like she says she loves you, she does not love you. She says she likes you. Pull up, don't pull up. Like it's like. 
kind of mixed, mixed feelings there. Yeah, you guys are going to be miserable forever. In what ways do women show men effort to impress them? I don't do things. Which way women show men effort? Usually like doing their makeup and shit like that to like look better for you. And I don't know, for, like, when it comes to my wife, like cooking, cleaning for me and shit like that. Hello, you suck my dick, bitch. To like impress men. Like I try to put my best foot forward no matter who I'm talking to and no matter who I'm with. Cool. I feel like to say that women do to solely impress men is like kind of just running along with the idea of the male gaze being the most important and I don't know. I feel like that's teetering on a bit of misogyny there. Just because I don't think I don't think Don't you're overthinking his question. He's just asking you things that men do that women do to impress men. Who I'm talking I don't do things I miss mixed feelings there. In what ways do women show men effort to impress them? Yeah, he's asking a very basic question. You're turning this into this whole thing. He's just asking in what ways women show effort. It's like, yeah, making themselves look attractive um, is like a big thing for women, considering women are more valued for their looks in society. And I know that like needs to change overall, but like it's still a nice thing. Um, and like, yeah, cooking, cleaning, like, I don't know, little things, rubbing your back. I don't know, laying in bed. Like after I rail the fuck out of my wife, my wife will rub my back until I fall asleep. You like that? You know what I mean? I don't know. It's not that deep. You show different, you show affection in different ways, man. Develop your love language. It's like kind of just running along with the idea of the male gaze being the most important and I don't know. I feel like that's Yeah, I hate the male gaze. All right. I like female gaze though. It's kind of hot. <laughs> teetering on a bit of misogyny there. Just because I don't think I don't think that there's That's words. Impressing men just seems seems a little undermining of like what women do on a daily basis. Like we don't Why men want to impress women, women want to impress men. Why is it undermine anything? Why are you such a fucking weirdo? Walk around trying to look good for men. And Affection. Okay. Men love affection and showing out in public, like social, like in a social environment, like not that you're all over a man, but showing that you're interested in him in front of his friends and your friends is a big impact in that. Yeah, she's right. Um, kind of learning about the things that they're interested in, I True. guess. Like if you say, oh, I like this and this about cars or whatever, maybe they'll like kind of put that into their vocabulary just to. True. They'll try to like, uh, that's something I've noticed. Like uh, some women will try to like uh, generate some interest that you have. Uh, yeah, sure. Men can do that with women as well. That's a really excellent way. Some of these girls are right on the money. See that they're paying attention. I would say true. And even if you're not super into it, like listen to it and try to take, pick up on like the vernacular, you know, like I'm at a point now where I could talk to my wife about some stuff uh, that like comes to like my job and stuff. She doesn't really or, you know, like I say, I have like a video game I like and I could talk about some stuff in case there was like an interesting story, which is fucking cringe. But, you know, same thing with like cars. Uh, but she'll be like, oh, I get what you're saying and understand it enough. Same thing with my wife. She'll say stuff about gay people or whatever, like, oh, you know. I like um, like the theater, and I'm like, oh, theater, and then we talk about that, you know. Like, I, you, you do that for my wife. I do this for my wife as well. Try to get interested in a little bit of their interest, so you can have a conversation about it, so it can make them happy. I feel like they'll do their hair really nice, and they'll dress really nice, and like try to start a conversation with them. I would say is like kind of like the small but key indicators. It kind of just depends on each girl. So sure, you would say that like doing your hair and doing your makeup is just you looking your best, right? Sure. Isn't a man expected to look his best as well? Sure, but it's usually different. Um, the expectation of a man is put a pair of jeans on and a t-shirt, and boom. Uh, women usually have to put like a lot of makeup on, and they do like a lot. Of, women, it's it's a literal fucking like husband meme that wives take like an hour to fucking get out of the house. Like women usually have to put a lot more effort into their appearance than men do. So I would say no. I mean, yes and no. As yeah, long as he like looks depends. clean and not is like his hair is not yeah. really messy. The expectation is lower for guys for sure. See, but he doesn't have to look like his absolute best. But I mean, looking your best as in like a guy who's well kept. Sure, but the but it's a lot easier to look your best as a man than it is as a woman. It's a pretty basic thing. Yes, yeah. So if, unless you're a gay guy. <laughs> men and women are both What's expected on, to be well kept. Why is that? I think it's, yeah, sure. Well, uh, I think it's well kept, but yeah, again, but like it's different for women. Like a way of showing effort. Because it takes a lot more effort to look presentable as a woman than it does for a man. Like this is super basic. You should understand this. I don't know. It's a way of showing you care, like you're putting in effort because you actually like care. I'm giving them compliments. Yeah, that's good. Like actually good. asking to hang out rather than just. True. This woman's actually super fucking based. Giving hop, like asking them out, dude. This is something that women really need to start doing more. One of the issues that men have in the dating market is that they're expected to fucking uh, ask the girl out. Like, give a guy a fucking break and ask a guy out sometimes. Like, you know what I mean? You can you can take the L too if the if somebody rejects you. Okay. Give a guy a fucking break. Ask guys out. Don't be fucking cringe. All right. I agree with this. It's not, it's not all about the physical shit. It's just not all about it. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've like asking them to hang out ask, and not like at night. Like asking them to go out to eat. 
True. Because <laughs> that means they're just going to want to fuck you. Get a drink, something like that. Why don't women approach men that they like? They should. It's because we just weren't, weren't really taught that way in society. Some men might even take it as like an affront to their masculinity. But for the most part, we need to change that. Women should be approaching men that they like and like hitting on men, giving them signals so that like not, not all the fucking pressure is on them. Because I don't chase after men. So how do you? I don't chase after anybody. So I'm bad as fuck. You show a guy that you like him. I wait till he comes to me. So why is it that women don't take the initiative to approach men? Because, because it's up to you. It's the guy's first well, move. I think it's also the stereotype. I feel like it's okay. also the stereotype for guys to like, and, approach the women first. And girl, I feel like we want guys to like come up to us. Like you know, they, you do. Uh, guys would like the same thing. They've just been conditioned to be the ones that have to go forward first. I want a guy who will like go after what he wants. Well, I don't think they want to. Like, I feel like a girl, like, if they want something, they should go get it. Like, I think it shouldn't always be That's true. Guys. That's true. So I would just agree with like, the guy has to make the first move. And I feel like women should be able to like feel comfortable to approach people that they're interested in. I know, I know. Okay, cool video. Um, this discourse is always incredible. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face, but just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. 